what's up everybody? Marcello here from Gamers Extreme, and today I'm very pleased to state that we're going to be doing an unboxing video for Premium Edition Games' first two releases that just came out last week, Super Blood Hockey and Pigeon Dev Games Collection. I just want to give a special thank you to JP Switchmania for hooking me up and providing me press copies to go ahead and showcase this unboxing for you guys watching right now. So without further ado, let's get to it. So look at the first game here. So here's Super Blood Hockey. Um, this is in a slip cover case right now. So let's decide. The back. This is number one. Okay, let's open it up. Very cool. So it's in an NES style cartridge slipcase that the game is in. That's kind of a nice little detail right there. Pull the game out. So there it is. The cover of the actual copy of the game. Alright, so already a couple things that I like. So first off, it has a nice instruction manual, instruction book, but first off it has actually actually has a card. Number one. The premium edition challenge. Take another human being's life in franchise mode. Instructions. You can earn a patch. That's very cool. Now, this is actually awesome. I love this idea. This is great. So basically you actually get a challenge to do. Take a picture, post it of you pulling it off, and they'll send you a free patch. That's really cool. And then, as I stated, here's the booklet. Nice and thick. All in full color. Nice little thank you note from the developer of the game. This is a very nicely done booklet. Definitely reminds me of the NES style booklets being horizontal. NES and um, Game Boy. So and here's the inside cover. I love that there's an inside cover. I feel like any Switch game that does not have an inside cover is really just, really just lazy, to be honest. And then here is the cartridge. So very, very cool. I definitely like the way this looks already. I love the way comes packaged. I like this NES style slipcover case. This is a nice little bonus. Okay, now let's check out the Pigeon Dev Games Collection. Trying to be careful with pulling these out. So same thing, awesome, nice little NES cover slip. Number two, second release. Okay, so this is the cover. It comes with four games, awesome P1 and two. Bucket Knight and Explosive Jake. Alright. Okay. Using my uh, Sekiro Mel 
putter over here. First, I like that it's simulating like a television screen with almost like a game selection right there. That's really cool. Um, here is the cartridge. And, let's see. This is the card. Number second card release. And then their premium edition challenge for this is to beat the final level of any game to earn your patch. Okay, cool. I'm up for the challenge. Okay, so again, nice thick book. Okay. Also a nice little thank you note from the original developers. And I, I really like this touch that they did with these manuals and having the very first page being a like note from the original developers. I feel like that's a really nice nod and appreciation to them and for them to reach out, basically, to the people buying it. So each game has its own manual. This is awesome. This is really cool. Even has a little memo section, because, you know, back in the day, I remember writing down cheat codes in the memo sections in my booklets. So, yeah. All right. Put that back in the sleeve. So now I'm going to showcase some gameplay from Super Blood Hockey and the Pigeon Dev Games Collection. Let's check it out. What? <laughs> 
Premium Edition games may be another limited physical release distributor for Switch, but that's not a bad thing at all. In a day and age where we are now seeing previous console generations shutting down their storefronts, it's never been more essential for companies to try and find ways to preserve games physically so that they may never fall into a digital abyss one day. The overall packaging of both Super Blood Hockey and Pigeon Dev Games Collection is really nice, with a premium quality to them, pun intended. Each game has inlay artwork, nice cartridge images, thick instruction manuals, slip cases, NES cartridge sleeves to hold the game cases in, and cards with a premium challenge assigned for players to try and complete for a physical patch. Premium edition games may be the newcomer on the block for physical releases, but they certainly came out swinging for the overall quality and packaged content. I can't wait to continue seeing what other games they secure for future physical releases.